All right, Shalom. First things first, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Raphael Yahweh, Raphael Yahushai. Give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders that rule the great millstone. And uh, to you hopeful elect out there on the four corners of the planet Earth, the the, the Bible is speaking, man. All right. I said, I uh, spoke to a brother before and I said, look, we're at the time where the Bible is speaking with us. At one time, you could have people try to naysay the Bible, but hand the scriptures and prophecies are going hand in hand with the modern day, the modern time that we live in. All right, so this is just an update on this, um, not an update, but uh, this was released about a day ago, and um, the apostle, the apostle and brother, the uh, brothers have put some uh, videos together. So I just wanted to um, bring out some uh, information on the subject and to show, man, Esau is he's, he's a slick one. He thinks he's slick. Okay, because all, all this that's leading is to his agenda. Okay, simultaneously, because you have what the the chaos that's all that's going to be in America in the time of Jacob's trouble. They're going to want the what RIFD chip people, which is the mark of the beast, and these things are going to be they're going to happen simultaneously. All right, it's going to be systematically, but it's going to be simultaneous at the same time. It's going to come upon people when they uh, they don't even expect it, man. That's why I said it's going to come like a thief in the night, man. All right. When the Lord returns, man, it's going to be it's going to be unexpected in the world. But you're going to see certain signs to show that he's, he's on his way, man. And you can't see it now. If you can't see that this this thing is coming to a head, then it ain't meant for you to see it. So I'm going to play this quick video and then I'm going to read an article and uh, uh, go into some scriptures. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Let's play this video real quick. Police investigating a and heavily armed United Nations peacekeepers operating in some of the most dangerous corners of the earth. Now there's a push to bring them here. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. A Cook County commissioner wants to get the peacekeepers to Chicago to battle our violence problem. But it would be an unusual move. Consider this from a UN promotional video. Peacekeepers often operate in hostile environments where others cannot or will not go. See that because they turned Chicago into a, 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 a war land, man. So UN operates in, in, in hostile environments, right? They're telling you in their motto. So they're telling you that Chicago so hostile that you need military intervention. They've helped stop the fighting in war torn hotspots across the globe, from Syria to Sierra Leone. Now a Cook County commissioner is appealing for UN peace. You hear that? Syria to Sierra Leone. UN peace from Syria to Sierra Leone. Now a Cook County commissioner is appealing for UN peace. Now a Cook County hotspots across the globe from Syria to Sierra Leone. Now a Cook County commissioner is appealing for UN peacekeepers in Chicago's crime-ridden neighborhood. I know that uh, there are those who say that this is an admission that we can't protect the people in the city, but quite frankly, we haven't protected them. But one West Side alderman whose ward is plagued by violence rejects the military analogy. It's not war. I mean, we may have, have some daunting statistics, but again, uh, military intervention is not the answer. Alderman Irvin says it's an economic intervention, not a military one, that's needed to stop Chicago's violence, jobs, and investment. And no, man. The, uh, Esau's, Esau's, this is all part of the agenda, man, because he's pushing the agenda. All right? There's an agenda in play here. So uh, let me bring this article out real quick. All right, this is from uh, Walking Times. <clears throat> and it, the title of it, it says, Gang members implicate U.S. government in dumping crates of guns in Chicago. This, was post, this, was, uh, this article was posted on September 13, 2016. So not that long ago. All right, and uh, there's a, I'll post a link in the um, in the description so you brothers can uh, check it out. But I'm gonna skip on down to the uh, to the meat of the of the article. I read right here. It says Freeway Ricky Rocks was California's most successful drug kingpin during the explosion of the crack epidemic in 1980 in 1980s. Make sure this is working. It says, uh, 
in the 1980s and later implicated the CIA as the source of source source for cocaine. President Reagan Bush, Reagan Bush Sr. and Bill Clinton are implicated in the revelation of drug running in the U in the U.S. Because he saw the it, it's the stem of it, man. That's why it says the son of perdition must be revealed. Once you break down everything in the world where with, with wickedness and evilness, you nine out of ten times you're gonna find Esau there, man. And it says during the eighties and nineties in uh Manna, Arkansas, which is also it says which also links the Arkansas State Police to smuggling um That word right there is in, sus in suspicious murders of Vince uh, Foster. Again, the list goes on and on. However, with the recent rise in violence in Chicago involving over 3,000 shooting victims in 2016 so far, January 1st to September 13th, it appears that another case of U.S. sponsored gun smuggling and international destruction of inner city communities has may be at play. It says in a publicity. It says in in a public available video testimony, an ex Chicago gang member described how crates of fully automatic firearms were regularly be found in alleyways, in back street back streets of urban Chicago at at the early hours of the morning, giving free illegal weapons to the gang gangs of Chicago, of Chi Town which is now often referred to as Chirac because it is a war zone. So even that, that, that slogan they use, that's, that's set up, man, because they're, they're, they're trying to um, tie it or make a comparison to a, a war zone. So that's where you see here comes the U.N., man, because where do the U.N. function at? In war zones. And it says he refers to it as an, a diabolical plot. A plan affecting only low income areas, pointing out that many of the firearms being found were class three automatic firearms. Now, this is where the article gets, uh, it goes into some good detail, which can, oh, and let me read that again. It says, many of the firearms being found were class three automatic firearms which can only be purchased at certain retailers under intense federal scrutiny. He notes that criminals aren't allowed to buy firearms, because if you have a felony, you can't purchase the firearm, especially a, 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 a Class 3 firearm. All right? And uh, you know what? For the sake of... For the sake of edification, I'm going to pull it up real quick. We're going to see what Class 3 firearms are. It says uh, class uh, class three NF <laughs> NFA weapons, title to uh, firearms, machine guns, short barrel rifles, um, short barrel shotguns, suppressors, any of the weapons A AOWs and destructive devices. Let me go to images. These are your stage, your class three firearms right here. And this is what you see in the city, man. AKs, ARs. Look. See, even suppressors, man. Even having a suppressor that's in the class three of it, that's in the class uh class three weapon. And you see it here, man. So how are these 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 highly highly destructive weapons finding their way into a neighborhood where they can barely afford to feed themselves? Okay, it, it, look, look at this, man. That's a damn grenade launcher, man. That's a damn grenade launcher in the class, <coughs> in this class, man. Look at these weapons, man. These are military-grade weapons. Now, let's go back to the article. And it says, Firearms being found were class three automatic firearms, which can only be purchased in certain retailers under intense federal scrutiny. He notes that criminals aren't allowed to buy firearms in the first place, yet the guns are everywhere. So where are they coming from? Let me go down here. 
make sure this is still running. Camtasia likes to give problems sometimes. But. And it says BBC News recently produced a short documentary about gun violence in Chicago with gang members saying that things such as, it's like crates of guns got dropped off. Chicago has some of the strictest gun restrictions in the United States with some of the highest rates of gun violence. Gang members are not buying them legally, and the police aren't pulling guns off the streets on a daily basis. So where are they coming from? It says, and police are pulling guns off the streets on a daily basis. So where are they coming from? Something doesn't add up. Because exactly, I mean, because Esau's funding this, man. It's all a agenda. So now I'm going to go to this, uh, because the agenda is this. This is from the MasonicDictionary.com. It says, Ordo ab chaos. Chao. It says, the Latin expression meaning ordo, order out of chaos. A motto of the 30, 33 degree. And have, have, it says, and having the same illusions as lung de tabreus. Uh, now, now, you know, we got to look that up. You know, we got to look this up. Now, let's. Ooh, the word lux in tabaris. Is Latin meaning light in darkness is a short one it's a short one act phrase written in prose by the German dramatist. It is thought that he wrote it in nineteen nineteen under the influence of the great of the great monarch cl uh, clown Carl Vellini. It says the Latin phrase belongs to the Latin translation of the Gospel of John meaning the light shines in the darkness and the darkness is not compre it says and the darkness did not comprehend it it's a heavy phrase right there man so let me go back into this and it says which it says which see it says which see in this work the invention of this motto is to be attributed to the supreme council of the ancient and accepted scottish piet at Carl, uh, Carlston, and it is first met with the patent of Count D. de Garis, dated February 1st, 1802. When, uh, when did de Garis afterward cried the, carried the political over to France and established the Supreme Council. So it's order out of chaos, man. That's what they're doing. That, it's, a, it's a clear, it's a clear cut um, agenda, man. You 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 produce the chaos and then you bring the order. All right. So this man's the devil, man. So he's on his way out. Whatever he's doing, that's for his end. Because the Most High is gonna put a uh, it's gonna put a stop to this. And that's what we waiting on, man. That's why we should yearn to get up out of here, man. And and for Yahweh Shem Yahshua to have mercy and take this man out of power, man. So let me go through the scriptures and uh, I'm going to close on out. This is the book of Micah. This is Micah 2 and 1. And it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And that's what they're going to, in a short period of time, man, they're going to, they're going to come at this truth. Do you know? They're, because we're, 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 uh, gaining speed. It's gaining a momentum. The, uh, like the apostles always say, the cat is out of the bag, man. You can't put the cat back in the bag. It says, um, that's it on that. Let's jump down to Isaiah 32 and 7. <clears throat> it's the book of Isaiah 32 and verse 7. And it says, The 